kawaumat. So, nandito na naman po kami para mag-share and i-guide kayo sa some of the math lessons from grade 7. This video is created to serve as your guide na para sa mga medyo nalilito o hindi masyadong naintindihan ng turo ni teacher sa room. So, pwede natin tong balik-balikan. Alright. So, Sisimula na tayo. Okay. In this video, we will be focusing on angles. So, angles. So, before we proceed to the topic, let's have some first a short recap on per the prerequisites para mas maintindihan natin kung ano nga ba ang angles. Alright, so I want you to draw and label the following. So, kung mga nasa bahay lang naman tayo, pwede tayong kumuha ng papel, ball pen, para makasunod po tayo sa discussion natin ngayon. Okay, so first, so this is just a recall, recap of the previous topics. Okay, number one. We have here ray BA. So, if you can still remember the definition and the concept about ray, how are you going to illustrate ray BA? I'm giving you five seconds to do this. Okay, so let me show you the illustration. So we have this figure. So always remember that the ray comes with an endpoint first followed by the infinite direction. Okay, so again, ang ray nga ulit. So sisimulan natin siya sa endpoint bago tayo pupunta dun sa infinite direction. So, kagaya nito, since, since we started with B, so that is your endpoint. And then A, this is your direction for infi infinity. So, you have to write first B to the endpoint and then A to the infinite direction. Okay, so uh, by the way, this is just a review. Okay, so we will not focus so much time on this part. Next, how are you going to illustrate Ray BC? Five seconds. Alright, so this is how are we going to illustrate Ray BC. So again, start with an, with an endpoint followed by the infinite direction. Next, how are you going to illustrate ray BA and ray BC are opposite rays? So, when we say opposite, ibig sabihin nasa magkabilang direction sila. So, paano mo ipapakita na itong ray BA at si ray BC ay papunta sa magkabilang direction? Okay, so we have this figure. So since B is your endpoint, also in ray BA, so you have to place B at the middle or at the center since that is the endpoint. And then A and C are the infinite direction. So place your A and C on both. Uh, both sides but in opposite directions. Alright. Now, given points A, B, C in the figure. So, look at this figure. This one. Okay. What other terms can you associate with the given figure? Okay. Ano pa kaya yung ibang terms sa math na pwede nating gamitin para i-describe itong figure na to or illustration na to. 
Okay, so we can associate the word collinear to the given figure. So points A, B, C are collinear points. So again, collinear points are points lagging on the same line. Always remember that. Collinear points are those points lying on the same line. So, makikita mo itong mga points na to sa iisang linya lang. If the other point is placed on the other line o sa is isa pang line, then that is not considered collinear. That is non-collinear. Okay. Now, so why do we need to uh, recall? Bakit kailangan nating balikan yung mga terms na yun? Ray, opposite rays, collinears. Okay. Kasi those are the words that we can use to this topic. So, kailangan alam mo muna yun para makasunod ka sa lesson natin ngayon. Okay. Ano kaya ang lesson natin ngayon? So, kagaya nga na pinakita natin kanina sa first part, nakalagay na dun. Angles. So, we will focus on angles. So, anything about angles. So, we will discuss how to name the angle and the kinds of angle. Okay, so while waiting for the All right, let us define first what is an angle. So ano ba muna ang angle? So bago tayo mag-proceed dun sa pag-name ng angle, dapat alam muna natin kung ano ba ang angle, ano ba itsura niya. So an angle is a figure Formed by two non-collinear rays. So, pag sinabi nating non-collinear rays, kagaya nga sa recall natin kanina, collinear are points lying on the same line. So, ibig sabihin, if it's non-collinear, therefore, these are points not lying on the same line. Okay? Like this. So, I have here three points. They are not lying on the same line. Line. So, one, first point, sec your second point, this is your third point. So, these points are not lying on the same line. So, this is considered non-collinear. If this point is placed here, then that is collinear. But since the other point is not on the same line, then this is considered non-collinear. According to the definition, an angle is formed by two non-collinear rays. So, this is how we illustrate an angle. Next, an angle also has a common endpoint. So, pag sinabi natin common endpoint, ano ba yun? Common means meron silang iisang endpoint. Pareho sila ng endpoint. Now, endpoint. Diniscuss natin yan kanina sa recall, sa recap. Endpoint. That is represented by a point. A point that ends. Okay? So, therefore, a common endpoint, what is the common endpoint of ray BA and ray BC? So, anong meron sa ray BA mo na meron kay ray BC? Kasi when we say common, pareho sila. Pareho silang meron. And that is point B. Therefore, that is your vertex. Okay. So, again, the vertex is your common endpoint. Since B here is the common endpoint, then that is your vertex. Ulitin po natin. Ang angle po ay binubuo ng dalawang non-collinear rays. So, ito yung dalawang non-collinear rays natin na meron dapat common endpoint. So, since ito, si point B ay point ni ray BA at point rin siya ni ray BC, so this is the common endpoint. 
and this is what we call the vertex. All right. So let's proceed to the ray. How are we going to name the ray? So kagaya kanina, since the ray starts with an endpoint followed by the infinite direction, so this is your ray. This is your first ray, the red color, that we will name it ray BA. All right? And then this is your second ray, the yellow color. So we will name it ray BC. Now, question. Can we name this ray as ray AB? That's right. Okay. We cannot name the, we cannot name rather this side as ray AB because A is not the endpoint. So since B is the endpoint, so um pwede natin siyang tawagin ray BA but not ray AB. Okay, same as ray BC. We cannot call it ray CB since C is not the endpoint. Okay, so ayan po, that is our vertex. We call it vertex B. Alright, so iisa-isahin natin yung mga terms na pwede nating ma-encounter sa angle. So, dapat alam natin to para pag naginamit siya o nabanggit siya, meron kayong idea o ano ba ibig sabihin nito. Alright. So, we will start with the degrees. So, the enclosed, the symbol enclosed by the parenthesis, this is the symbol for degree. Ito siya, yung maliit na naka, uh, maliit na nas, nasa itaas. Alright. Now, so this is the symbol for the degree. This is the unit used in measuring an angle. So, kapag sinukat natin yung angle, so wala pa tayo sa measuring ha, another topic yun. Pag sinukat natin yung angle, you have to place the degree doon sa measure ng angle. Pero meron tayong restriction doon. Be careful in using symbols. There are cases na hindi natin pwedeng lagyan ng symbol ng degree kahit measure siya ng angle. So, i-discuss natin yon sa ibang lessons. But this time, kapag nagsusukat tayo ng angle, you have to place the degree. Next, protractor. Are you familiar with the protractor? Have you seen a protractor? Okay. So, sa mga hindi nakakaalam at hindi pa nakakakita ng protractor, here is the protractor. So, this is the device used in measuring an angle. So, ito yung gamit na pwede nating gamitin para makuha natin yung sukat ng angle. Pwede ba tayo gumamit ng ruler? No. Because the ruler is a straight angle. Edge measuring device. Hindi siya pwede. Okay. Next. The symbol we use to name the angle is this one. So, ayan. Hindi pwedeng nag-name tayo ng angle pero walang symbol. And let's proceed. Alright. Punta tayo sa angle and its points. Kasi meron tayong iba't ibang klase ng points na makikita sa angle. So, given the figure or illustration, iisa-isahin natin siya. So, what are the points given on the angle? Angles can have points in the interior. So, pag sinabi natin interior, interior means inside, loob. Example, look at the given figure. So, I have here... Point D and point E, these are considered interior points because they are found inside the angle. So, points D and E are called interior points of the angle. 
Next, we also have the exterior points on the angle. What do we mean by exterior? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng exterior? Exterior means outside, labas. Alright, example, we have here point F. So, as you can see, naki, nandun siya sa labas ng angle. Kasi this is your angle. So, nandun siya sa labas. This is considered exterior point of the angle. And also, we also have the points on the angle itself. Nandun siya mismo sa angle. So, what are those? We have points A, points B, point C. So, itong tatlong to, points A, B, and C are points lying on the angle. So, therefore, these are points on the angle. Let's proceed in naming an angle. Paano ba natin pinapangalanan ng ang angle? Hey, makinig mabuti. We can name the angle using three points. Ang gumamit ng three points sa pagpapangalan o pag-name ng angle. Pwede rin naman tayong gumamit ng vertex. So, kagaya na nang diniscuss kanina, alam nyo na yung vertex. Pwede rin, pwede rin pala yun gamitin. And we can also use the number or letter. Saan ba natin makikita yung number or letter na sinasabi nito? Okay, let's have the figure. So, I have here angle with points A, B, C. What is the vertex? B. What is the number inside the angle? That is 1. Okay. Now, let us name the angle using three points. So, what are the points on the angle A, B, C? So, we can name the angle as angle A, B, C or angle C, B, A. Ay pwedeng dalawa? Yes. When we are naming the angle using three points, we can name it angle A, B, C or C, B, A. But, remember that in naming, naming an angle using three points, always remember that you have to place the vertex at the center or middle. So, pwede ba yung angle B, A, C? No. Why? Because A is not the vertex. Pwede ba yung angle? Pwede ba siyang pangalanan na angle A, C, B? No, because C is not the vertex. Now, so we can only name this angle using three points. Kung three points ang gagamitin mo, it's either angle A, B, C or angle C, B, A only. So, you have three choices. Pag nag-name tayo ng angle, pwede, kang, pwede mo siyang pangalanan nyo sing three points. Next, pwede mo rin daw siyang pangalanan using its vertex. So, tanungin ko muna kayo, what is the vertex? It's vertex B. Therefore, we can name it angle B. And the last one, we can name it using the number or the letter. Minsan kasi ang namakikita mo dito sa loob ay letter. Kung if it's a number, then use a number. If it's a letter, use a letter. Okay, so since we found or we see a number inside the angle, then we can name it angle 1. Okay, now... Ano ang mga dapat tandaan pag nag-name tayo ng angle? Do not forget the symbol. Kapag nag-name tayo ng angle, hindi pwedeng ABC lang or CBA lang. Dapat meron tayong symbol. So ulitin ko, 
Ilang ways pwede nating pangalanan ang angle? Tatlo. Pwedeng ito, gamit ka ng 3 points. ABC or angle CBA, pwede rin namang vertex, angle B, or pwede rin namang number or letter kung meron. So, since meron namang 1 doon, so we can name it angle 1. Do not forget the symbols. Okay. Now, pwede ba ma'am? na ang angle natin ay gamitan ko ng small letters like this. If I'm going to change this as angle A, B, C, but all small letters, is that correct or is that possible? No. Why? Because we are referring to Points. When we are naming points, always remember that you have to write the points in capital letter. So, small letters are not allowed in naming the angle. But, if the letter inside the angle is a small letter, we can use it because that is given. But in naming an angle using points, always remember that a point must be a capital letter. Alright, I have here another example. Now, how many angles do you see? So, we have... Three. We have here the first angle, this one. We have this one. And the biggest angle. The largest angle, rather. Okay. So, using three points, what are the angles? We have angle Z, X, Y, or Y, X, Z. That is your first angle, the largest angle. Another name of the uh, another angle is angle Z, X, W, or angle W, X, Z. And our third angle we have. W, X, Y, or Y, X, W. Okay, so these are the angles named using three points. So we have three angles in the given figure. Okay, next. Can we use the vertex to name the angle? No. Why? If we're going to use the vertex to name the angle, it must be one angle only. If you were given more than one angle, we cannot use the vertex. Why? Pag sinabi kung angle X, Look, I have here uh, X, X, X. And then here, yung tatlong angle mo gumamit ng X as their vertex. So, pag sinabi kong angle X, alin dyan? E tatlo sila. That's why we cannot use the vertex to name the angle if and only if there is more than one angle. Pero kung isa lang ang angle mo at papangalanan mo siyang angle X, pwede. Kasi pag sinabi mong angle X, walang ibang angle, siya lang, nag-iisa lang. But since we have three angles, and then you will say angle X, hindi pwede. It's not possible because you were given three angles. Okay, next. Using the number or the letters. So we can name it angle 1. And angle 2 for angle WXY. Alright. Now, K 
can we name the other angle as angle 3? Pwede ba natin ma... I know, nagmagtataka kayo bakit angle 1 and angle 2 lang, eh tatlo yung angles mo dyan. Pwede ba na, ay, itong isa, yung, yung pinakamalaking angle, angle 3 yan. No. We cannot name or we cannot assume that this figure, angle Z, X, Y, is your angle 3 because this is, that is not given. Alright? So, magbe-base lang po tayo kung ano yung binigay sa figure. So, since I have here angle 1 and angle 2 because that is given. Okay, question. If I will be asking, what is the other name for angle 1? Can you give it to me? Angle 1 is also angle Z, X, W, or W, X, Z. Now, what is the other name for angle 2? Angle W, X, Y or angle Y, X, W. But for angle Z, X, Y or Y, X, Z, we do not have another name for this angle. Again, remember, we cannot use the vertex because we have more than one angle. Always remember that if we're going to use three points, always place your vertex at the center. Now, it's your turn. Okay. You can make use of your pen and paper. I'm giving you five seconds to answer. All right, let's answer. So I have here a figure. How many angle is given in the figure? So we only have one. Okay, so let me see. Kung naintindihan. Using three points, sige nga. What is the name of the angle if you're going to use three points? Okay, so we can name it angle WXY or angle YXW. So, Tama yan, na ang vertex nilagay nyo sa gitna. Always remember that. And then you use capital letters to name the angle. And hindi nakalimutan ng symbol, that is good. How about the vertex? Okay, we can name it angle X. That is the name of the angle if you're going to use the Vertex. So, angle X is the an another name of the angle. Now, what if you are asked to give the name of the angle using the number or the letter? Can you name it? That is angle 3. Very good. Oh, by the way, I forgot. Now, can you name the rays? So, those are? Ray XW and Ray XY. So again, pwede ba natin siyang pangalanan na Ray WX? No, because W is not the end point. Ray X, uh, Ray YX? No, because Y is not the end point. Just look at the symbol. Look. Nasa symbol mismo yung Clue kung ano ang dapat mong unahin. This is the end point. This is the arrow or the infinite direction. Now, let's proceed to the kinds of angles. 
So, we have three kinds of angles. Iisa-isahin natin yun. First, we have the acute angle. So, acute. Parang acute. Ibig sabihin, cute. Maliit. ba? So, that is an angle whose measure is greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degrees. Ibig sabihin, kapag ang nakuha mong sukat ay mas mataas sa 0 pero mas mababa sa 90, yun ay tinatawag nating acute angle. So, ano-ano yung mga sukat na yun? Kapag ang nakuha mong sukat ay from 1 degree to 89 degrees, kasi ang sabi greater than 0, so that is 1. And then, less than 90, that is 89, so from 1 degree to 89 degrees, pag yun ang sukat ng angle mo, that is considered acute angle. What are the examples? Let me show you. Pictures that shows acute angle. So, ayan. This is an example of an acute angle. Next. Another kind is we have the right angle. So, this is an angle whose measure is exactly 90 degrees. Ito yung angle na kapag nakuha mo ang sukat at sakto siya sa 90. Hindi, walang labis, walang kulang, hindi 89, hindi 91, hindi 91.5, hindi 90.5. Exactong 90. Gitnang gitna. That is a right angle. Kagaya nito. Nasa gitna lang siya. So, that is a right angle. And then ito, yung mga edges, minsan ng boxes, those are also examples of an acute angle. Etong metal na to, ayan, it forms right angle. And the last kind of angle, we have the obtuse angle. So, an obtuse angle, this is an angle whose measure is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Mas mataas daw ang sukat niya sa 90, pero mas mababa sa 180. So, hindi siya pwede mag-180. Iba na yun. Ibang angle na yun pag nag-180. Okay. So, ano ang range ng sukat niya? Based on the given definition, greater than 90 degrees. So, ano ba yung number na susunod na mas mataas sa 90 degrees? That is 91. Pero, mas mababa sa 180. So, ano ba yung mas mababa sa 180? 179. Or 179.9. 99. Like that. Alright, so, from 91 to 179. So, that is considered obtuse angle. Okay, so, medyo lampas na siya ng konti kay right angle, no? 90 degrees na siya, eh. lampas siya sa 90 degrees. Ang right angle mo, straight lang yun. ba? So, pag lumampas lang ng konti, gumay gumaywang na. That is already obtuse angle. So, dito, sa star na to, hindi, hindi ito ang obtuse angle, ha? This is not the obtuse angle. Ang pinapakita dito na obtuse, itong part na to, yung nasa labas. Okay? Now, it's your turn. I want you to complete the table, name the angle, and identify its kind. So, for the first column, I want you to name the angle. So, first, tingnan nyo muna ilan ba yung angles na binigay ng figure. Tatlo. Okay, so dapat meron kayong tatlong angles dyan. And then, the vertex, ibibigay nyo yung vertex ng tatlong angle. And then, the rays, ibigay ang rays ng tatlong angle. And identify the kinds of angle. Okay. Since wala tayong number letter dyan, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yun. Since tatlo yung angles mo, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yung vertex. So, ang pwede mo lang gamitin dito sa pag-name ng angle ay yung 3 points. And then, identify the vertex, its rays, and its kind. I'm giving you 5 minutes to 
Complete your exercises. Last two minutes. All right, time's up. Let's answer. So since we have three angles given in the figure, so let us name the angle. Let us name the first angle. So we have angle Z, X, W. Pwede rin namang angle W, X, Z. What is the vertex? Makikita mo yan kung ano ang nasa gitna. And that is X. Or point X. Now, what are the rays? So, since ito ang angle mo, Z, X, W. So, dito ka lang titingin. Ano ang mga rays niyan? X, ray, X, Z. And ray, X, W. Now, what is the kind of angle? That is acute angle. Next. What is the second angle? We have W, X, Y. Or, pwede rin namang y, angle Y, X, W. Hindi pwede ang W, Y, X ha, kasi Y is not the vertex. Alright, so W, X, Y, or angle Y, X, W. So, since this is place, uh, X is placed at the center, so that is your vertex. That is point X. Now, what are the rays? So, starts with an endpoint. Ray XW and ray XY. Those are the sides. And that is a right 
angle. And the last one, we have angle Z, X, Y, or angle Y, X, Z. So again, X is the vertex. What are the rays? Ray X, Z, and Ray X, Y. And this is what kind of angle that is more than 90. So that is obtuse angle. Okay, who got perfect? Very good. Now, kung hindi naman, okay lang yan. You can watch again the video. Panoorin mo ulit para mas maintindihan. And then try again the exercises given to you. Pwede kang mag-try ng mag-try. Wala pong mawawala. Try lang po ng try. Andi dito lang naman yan. Pwede mong balik-balikan. So, this is the end of the topic or the lesson. Thank you for watching.